In today's video, we're going to talk about the DJI Unlock process. And if you own a DJI drone, it's only a matter of time until you realize that, well, you can fly in certain areas. The process has changed recently, so we're going to go over all the procedures and all the new stuff in this video. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing is make sure that you gather your drone with you. You're gonna need either a smart controller like one of these, or you're gonna need to have your phone so you can have access to the app. We're gonna have you turn on the drone and get a serial number in a minute, so make sure that you have this nearby. Next thing is we're gonna have to go on the DJI website and create somewhat of an account where we're gonna have to enter the drone information and the pilot information, not something that we did in the past with the other procedures. So let's go here. And the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna go into the DJI website you can type in there dji unlock or you can just type in the uh, address fly-safe.dji.com so i'm going to push enter right here and when you do that it's going to take you to the login page you need to have a dji login in order to do this i'm going to log in with ours right here and we haven't set up this account we've set up another one but we haven't set up this one so we'll do this together right here and you notice that it is different if you were on the old version of the website you notice that there was no authentication application so we're gonna have to click on that blue button right here and once we get in there's different accounts that you can create. So depending on what you do, if you're a personal user, you just fly uh, on your own, then you're just going to do personal account. Otherwise, you're going to go into organization accounts. If you have a company uh, where you have maybe several pilots that you want to set up in the system, I would recommend going through that step. Or if you're a government user, then you're going to go in here. Read the descriptions. It will tell you which one applies to you and then make sure you pick the right one. I'm going to click organization account for us at Pilot Institute. And then I'm going to set up this uh, new account as a test. Once you get to the next page, you'll see that it's asking you for information. So you'll fill this out right here. Put a first name and last name of the person in charge of that account. Put your email in here and then put your phone number. Now, I want to show you here there is a file and it says upload a letter stating that the drone are going to be used for commercial purposes. Purposes. We just got a simple letterhead that we put uh, our logo on and then we basically just said these drones are going to be used for commercial purposes, sign it and then upload right here. So that's what I would recommend you do for a commercial organization. I'm going to go back because I want to show you what the personal account looks like. You do personal account right here next and you simply fill out your name, your email and maybe what industry you're in if there is one and then move on to the next thing. And that's really that simple for the personal account. And from the government account perspective, then you're gonna have to also submit some uh, identity verification down in here. So make sure you follow the steps for whichever account you're gonna do. So like I said, we're gonna do an organizational account on our side and uh, we'll fill out the information. Okay, so once you're done, essentially you should have all of the information in here uh, approved and ready to go and the next step is to enter your devices. So you go on the top left corner, you see device management. And once you get there, you will click on new device. You'll need to add every single drone that you have in your fleet, which might be time consuming at first. By the way, you can do a template. So you'll be able to download the template right here. It's an Excel file. It's pretty straightforward the way that it looks. It essentially is the flight controller number, a device type, and then the name of the drone. I'm just gonna do this one manually here. You can do new device and then enter the flight controller number and you're going to find the aircraft type this is a mini 3 right here we're going to enter that and then we're just going to call it mini 3 and we're going to click confirm and again you're going to repeat these steps as many times as you need to add all of your drone that you need approval for and then you're going to go into the pilot management right here so i'm just going to add myself for right now now the person has been added. So as long as you have a pilot, as long as you have a device in here, then you're pretty much ready to go. You're gonna go to the unlock request section. So unlock request right here, and you're gonna do new unlock request. And that's gonna give you a whole bunch of warnings right here, click confirm. And then you do a custom unlocking where you're gonna draw a circle or a shape on the map in order to get uh, application, or you're gonna do a zone unlocking for an entire area. I'm gonna do the zone unlocking I want to show you that section right here. Which device do you want to use? If you have more than one, you can put it in here. And then you're going to go to this field right here and it will show you all of the DJI Mini 3 Pro that you may have on your list. We only have one right now, so we're going to click that and that's it. If at this stage you wanted to add a new device, you could also do that by clicking add device right here. We're going to also add a pilot. We only have one in our list right now and put it right here. So that's the first step. 
and we're going to click on next. And then now we're going to find the location where we want to get approval, not Washington DC. Let's just go ahead and find our good old airport. And here it is, Prescott. You can see I clicked on this area, which is the authorization zone where I want to get approval. And then we're going to keep, oops, we're going to scroll down. When do we want to get this approval for? Let's say we want to get it for tomorrow. And then unlock reason in here, want to fly at the airport. I know this is a pain in the butt, but you got to do this. And then you just click submit. And then this should be a pretty automatic response here. There you go, it's been accepted. Now what I can do is I can power on the drone and we can find the approval. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to get the approval that we just received online from the cloud to this into the drone in itself. And the procedure is a tight bit different depending if you have an older DJI drone or a newer DJI drone, but the idea is the same. In the older devices, you're gonna go into the settings, the three little dots at the top, and then you'll find in the settings that there's an area where there's the unlock code. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in this app, which is slightly different, where we have to go into a different portion on the home screen. We need to go into the profile area and we need to go into the settings area and then we go and scroll until it says unlock GeoZones. And now here you can see that we have an approval, one license for this specific flight controller, and we can click import to aircraft. The way that you get to that specific section here, like I said, is slightly dependent depending on the type of drone. The newer drones from DJI, you have to do it this way. The older drones, you have to go into the settings themselves and find that section. Import to aircraft, and then what it did, it says license imported successfully. And if we go to aircraft unlocking licenses, here it is, and that little toggle is uh, showing that little tick mark right here. So that's it. That's how you do unlock these days in the new procedure. I know it's a bit of a pain in the butt to go through all of this only to get approval. Like I said, unfortunately, this is something that you have to do. Uh, in some cases, it might be even more advanced where you're gonna have to request something from DJI themselves using an email if that area is very, very closed in where you're really, really not supposed to fly. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments. I know you're gonna have some comments about this or questions. We're here to help you and we'll see you at the next video.